Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In the previous video, we have learned about the HTML text formatting. That means, if you want to write the text content in your HTML page, what is the format style that we need to follow? For example, if you want to write the heading in HTML, so we need to use the heading, heading elements. And if you want to write a paragraph and all those things, we need to use the paragraph. So like this, we have seen about how to format the text in the HTML. And now in this video, we will learn about the HTML list. That means, so if you want to uh, write the list of items in HTML content, if you want to show it, we cannot write it in the paragraph or in the heading element. So HTML provides as a separate set of elements to provide the list of items. So let's see how it will provide it. Lists are everywhere in the life, from your shopping list to the list of directions you subconsciously follow. So that means in your daily life also, you need to know that the list of items that, to, that need to be done today, or the list of rules that we need to follow. These are these are all we'll need to write. We will be writing in the list, or otherwise the shopping list. So what are the list of shopping items that I want to shop today? So like this, you will write the list of all the items in your notepad or in your paper or something like that. You will write. Now the lists are everywhere in the web too. So in the web, in the web also the lists are available. So and we have got three different types of the things we uh, to worry about. So now in the HTML. We can uh, we can write the list in three different types. Let's try to see it. First one is then unordered list. Okay, unordered list are used to mark up lists of items for which the order of items doesn't matter. Let's take a shopping list as example. So unordered list means so this list the order doesn't matter. Order of the items. So if it doesn't matter the order of the items, you can use this unordered list. So something like you can take a shopping list as an example. Every unordered list starts off with a UL element. Now, so if you have a list of items, the order doesn't matter for you means you can call it as an unordered list. So for writing this unordered list in HTML, you will use this UL element. So every unordered list starts off with a UL element. So UL means unordered list. This wraps around all the list items. Now, unordered list is the parent element and you will you need to wrap it around the list items. The last step is to wrap each list item in a li, li element. So this is the another thing. Now the example goes like this. So for example, these are the list of items that you need to shop. Milk, eggs, bread and hummus. So these are all the things you need to write. You need to wrap it in the UL and each item must be wrapped in a li. Li means list item. So these are all the list of items. So you need to write list item, list item like this. Open and close tag. And here is a UL element. It should be wrapped around all the list items. This is the way of representing the unordered list. Let's try to see the. So let's try to see the practical implementation of this unordered list. I will try to show you. Then you will understand. So now here I am opening this uh, Visual Studio Code. Here I will be creating a new file that is nothing but list.html. Okay. So in this list.html, let's try to take the structure HTML5 document. Okay. And here I will be writing. So I need to have list of shopping items. So this is the first thing, right? Now, if you try to see, so what are the list of items I need to take? So dew, milk, I am taking the milk and another one is the bread. Or otherwise what I can do is, so I want to take dew, milk, bread and eggs, let's say. So these are the three items I need to do the shopping. Now, if you try to see the output, so let's see how the output will look like. So open with the live server. And now you will be able to see that list of shopping items are milk, bread and eggs. So these milk, bread and eggs are coming side by side. So these thing, these three things should be represented as a ordered, unordered list. Now, how can I represent this one? So first, what we need to do is, so here I need to wrap it with the UL. So this is the first UL element and each list item. So here milk. And another one is the bread and another one is the X. So these are the unordered list. Now if I try to see the output, now here see, you will be able to see each a dot appears, a black dot appears before each list item so that it is showing it as a the list. So in HTML, we need to use the like this unordered list. So this gives the semantic meaning. If you want to, you can also write something like these all things I can copy. And you can also use the you can also use the dew property like this. So this also gives the same output. So nothing. Sorry. 
So this also gives the same output. If you try to see the output, so here see milk bread and x comes in the same line, but the dot doesn't appear. But this doesn't have the semantic meaning. Why? Because because of the accessibility issue. So this accessibility issue. And now you need to use this as a error list so that the H, uh, what I can say the screen readers or the search results, the Google search engine, all the search engines will be able to understand that okay, these are the list of items I need to consider it as the list of items. Whereas this milk bread and X, which was represented in the development, will not be considered as a list of items. So this is the exact semantic meaningful representation of the list of items in the HTML. So these are the unordered list. Now let's try to see another items. So now we have seen the representation of this unordered list. Let's go to the another one, ordered list. Now when we need to use this ordered list. Ordered list are the lists in which the order of the items does matter. Now here the order of the items are compulsory means then you need to use this ordered list. Let's take a set of directions as an example. For example, if you want to tell the directions to a particular person, so you need to follow particular order. So first you need to uh, go straight and you need to turn the left and you need to go straight 300 meters. Then you will find the uh, destination. So he need to follow the list of orders, the directions what we have given. So this order is matters very important. So for that reason, so we will be using in that in that scenario, we will be using this ordered list. The markup structure is the same as for the unordered list. The structure, the whatever the structure we have learned for the unordered list. It is same the, for the order list also it will be same but you need to wrap the list items in an OL element not the UL element here the it, yes these are the order list we need to wrap it instead of using the UL element we need to use the OL element rather than the UL element rest of all is the same thing for example let's say that I want to tell the directions to a particular person means so here I need to give it OL drive to the end of the road turn right go straight across the first two roundabouts and here turn left to the th third roundabout the school is on your right 300 meters up the road so this is the how we will be writing let's try to see this one in a practical implementation so i will try to copy this one so that we'll have a clear understanding so here i will copy this all the OL thing okay now if i try to go here and if i here write something like directions for the school okay so directions for the school let's assume that now here i can do so let's assume i'm copying and pasting first what we have learned about the unordered list right so now if i try to make it as a ul okay so these are the things now let's try to see the output if i try to see the output directions for the school are like this now here if you try to see all the items are marked as a black dot but we don't know which which one we need to follow first so these are unordered list so these are what I can say is I can follow any of the direction I can take it like that we can think so but there is a specific sequence for that one to follow because of the reason what we need to do we need to keep OL so now if you try to keep the OL what will happen is if you see the output automatically the number the sequence number will be assigned to the each list item like first one second one third one fourth one fifth one like this so this is the benefit of this ordered list Whereas for the unordered list only the black dot appeared but for this ordered list the sequence of numbers will be attached to the each list item. So this is the advantage of this. Now the user can be able to understand that okay this is the first sequence I need to follow and this is the second command I need to follow. Like this we can know. So most probably for the for giving a sequence of, the, I, of a sequence of directions or any sequence of commands if you want to do means. So we can use this order order list okay so this is about the order list let's try to see another one so we have seen about this order list also now the another one is nesting list so we have some other scenarios in a uh, certain thing that we need to add list items inside list items right so let's try to see it is perfectly okay to nest one list inside another one you might want to have some sub bullets sitting below a top level bullet you can use it not a problem now this is the thing now if you want to see i will try to show it in the practical implementation now here we are having an ordered list and here are all the list of items we are having li items and inside one of the e li item we are having an unordered list let's try to copy this one all okay and let's try to paste it here at the bottom and i am trying to and i will try to show you output so if we try to see the output here if you try to see 
okay so here i can write something like h3 preparation okay so i am using something like this now if you try to see here preparation now first one is remove the skin something like that and remove all the seeds add all ingredients and process all the ingredients into a paste now how to process means so here you can have the sub items here so this is how we can also add the nested nested unordered list or ordered list you can you can also use the ordered list also not a problem okay so if you try to see the output here so this one again will become one two so if you want to use you can also use this unordered list or the ordered list now if you try to see for example i will try to show you i have an unordered list let's say okay so here i am having shopping items so these are the shopping items i need to show you so this is an order list i need to have a shopping items now let's try to see the output so here if you try to see this is a shopping items now i need to i add some shopping items something like shopping items and here okay work items like like this i am using okay so these are the two things and i need to differentiate between the shopping items and the work items now if you try to see here we are having the shopping items and the work items now if you try to see the output now how it will look like i will try to show you or otherwise i will make it at the top so that it will be very visible for you okay let's try to see the output here yeah preparation shopping items and work items now i want to add a sub items to this shopping items how i can add here in this cell i okay in this cell i what i need to do is i need to write an ul or otherwise you can write the ol also and here i can add something like milk bread okay and here x i can write it now if you try to see the output here see in the shopping items so it has been subdivided milk bread and eggs in the work items again what i can do is so here i can do something like ul i can do okay so i can use this pens pencils something like this okay so i can use like this now if you try to see the output see in the work items it has been subdivided like this and in the shopping items it has been subdivided like this like this you can sub subdivide these list items also now here these are the sub list items for this list item and here these are the sub list item for this list item now if you want to again sub list again in the milk means you can also do it here i can use this so i can have i can want something like again ul li condensed milk okay i can use like this or you can use something like toned milk so like this also you can use it now let's try to see the output here again see shopping items is the first list item and milk is the second sub list for this shopping items and this milk again has a sub list something like condensed milk and the toad milk okay so bread you want if you want you can do it like this and x if you want you can do it so like this you can go on go on adding like this right so and also if you try to see the beauty html automatically add adds the bullet marks here so for this one it is a black dot and it as this one is a sub list it is a no, uh, normal this one is a just with border black border it is there and here if you try to see here is square thing and if you try to add again sub item so it will be again square only for example let's try to see i will show you here if i try to add again in the sub list something like this now from here onwards it will be something like sub list item only if you try to see here again this is a square item only so maximum you can have three different types of bullets other than that fourth level you will be having the same uh, square bullet only so it's not a matter but html i am trying to explain you that HTML automatically takes this bullet, gives this different bullet structure. So like this, if you want, you can also use the nesting list like this. Go, you can go on like this using like this. But most probably three uh, three levels is what most uh, more more than sufficient. If you want, you can also use. I am trying to show it. So this is all about the listing. So now, if you want to write the list of items, any list of items in your project or in your application, if you are want to do in your HTML thing, means we need to use the UL thing. So this this is this gives for the SEO purpose and all those things. So the search engine can able to understand. Oh, okay, these are the list of items. And the another one is the difference is the unordered list and the ordered list. So these are the main important. If the order is important for you means then you need to use the order list. If the order does not matter anything means you can use the unordered list. That depends on your thing. Okay. Hope you understood about the, the HTML list. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you